Hello everybody. Welcome to my NLP Mastery series. This is Joseph Simitson. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to classify a text using Spark NLP. Prerequisites for this video are intermediate knowledge in Python, NLP, PySpark, Spark NLP, and basic concepts of machine learning and deep learning algorithms. And prior to the dive into the codes of the classification, at this point, let me draw your attention to the importance of the text classification. Yes, text classification is an increasingly important NLP task and its application area is becoming widespread in the market. If I need to mention basic classification tasks, I would say sentiment analysis, news categorization, topic analysis, question answering, and natural language interference. Yes, in this video, the embeddings and models combination I used are TFIDF vectorizer and plus logistic regression classifier from Spark machine learning uh, library. And again, TFIDF vectorizer and Naive Bayes from Spark machine learning library again. Uh, in these two tasks, I trained my own embeddings, as you can see. And the last two one, I used pre-trained word embeddings, uh, which uh, the first one is the bird sentence embeddings and deep learning, and as a second, glower embeddings and deep learning algorithms. Yes. Let's dive into the codes of the classification. First, we initialize the Java environment and PySpark libraries in this cell, as usual, right? And in this cell, we start Spark NLP session. And after that, uh, we are importing the uh, dependencies, which means the libraries from Spark NLP and PySpark libraries. Okay. Now we need to load the data sets, and I uploaded here, as you can see, before this video, it's ready here the Turkish categorical corpus. So I will use Turkish texts in this video and Let's see how successful the Spork NLP other than English languages, okay? Let's keep moving step by step. Yes, first we create a Spork data frame uh, with the Turkish categorical corpus. And this is our categories. As you can see, we have culture, politics, technology, healthcare, economy, sports, and world. And uh, in each label contains 700 uh, data documents. So the data is uh, balanced, so we can evaluate our data, evaluate our model using accuracy, right? Okay, this is our labeled data. So let's train it. And before uh, step on to the model uh, pipeline, uh, let's handle with something the pre-processing. And if you can see, we have underscore between the names here, and yeah, something like that. So. We have to re remove the underscores uh, in this document, in this corpus, using this syntax, replace this underscore with uh, empty string. So we produce our new documents uh, without any uh, underscores inside the uh, document. Okay. 
uh, we can start to set up classification pipelines step by step. At first, we will split 80% of our data as train, uh, train set to train our models and the remaining 20% as test set to measure the performance of our trained model. Okay, we have 3889 data for the training set and 1011 data for the test set. Okay, after splitting our data set, we are ready to hit the road. Okay, starting with logistic regression and naive Bayes model. Uh, I'm gonna use TFIDF vectorizer with both these models. So I'm gonna train my own uh, embeddings for this classification. Okay, what we have here, this is our classical Spork NLP pipeline. And we take the text and community to documents as an output. And using sentence detector, we take document as an input and output as sentence. We split into a sentences. And from the sentences to the token, and uh, from the tokens to the clean tokens, which means we use a stop word cleaner model uh, for the special for Turkish language. Okay. And after clean token, uh, we convert it to lemma, which is also trained for the Turkish language, pre-trained model for lemmatizer. And after that, this is a, a transformer of the Spork NLP. Uh, let me say something at this point. Once we have our NLP pipeline ready to go, uh, we might want to use our annotation results somewhere else where it is easy to use. And the finisher outputs annotation values into string. So I'm going to use these token features to produce, to train our embedding models, TF, IDF, embedding vectors. Okay, I'm going to use this string data as a result. So let's import our dependencies, our libraries, uh, models, TF, IDF, string indexer, and uh, so on, etc. Okay. And here, I take token for uh, token futures, and uh, this is TF IDF phase of our pipeline here, and we produce TF and IDF, and after that, to uh, for the understanding, I mean, uh, the logistic regression model should understand the data. And because of that, we uh, we convert the string embedding data into uh, index, I mean, integer and float data, I mean the numeric data, numeric data. So I use this string indexer function here and we feed our, feed our uh, numeric data containing embeddings into the logistic regression model here. And after that, uh, to, to display the results, we again uh, convert our uh, numeric data to the string uh, data here. So we concluded our pipeline here, which is in these stages which are in these stages. Yeah, this is our pipeline. And in this uh, cell, this is the Spork NLP works for train. Okay, we fit with the train data set and we train our model. And for the prediction, okay, for the prediction, we use the test data set for the, for the evaluation, actually for the evaluation the model. Okay, and for the evaluation of the model, I am, I'm going to use the Spork NLP multi-class classification evaluator here. And it gives me a 90%, which is pretty good, pretty good. And uh, I can display it with uh, the 
pandas data frame uh, and using sklearn matrix for the classification report and as well the same classification report displays here so uh, due to the balanced data i can focus on the accuracy uh, value which is 90 percent pretty good for uh, for the, the turkish text okay and next in the same way i'm gonna use again tf idea for the naive bias model again i take uh, token features for tf and idf uh, after that it strings to numerical data and we feed into the naive bias model this embeddings numerical data and after that for the displaying the results i uh, again convert the numerical data to string and i set up my pipeline again uh, the, the the only different is different point this different stages only uh, the bias class which means the bias nail bias model uh, instead of the logistic regression that they previously trained okay and we fit our uh, trained data data set to our model uh, to our pipeline and we produce our model we train our model and we if we evaluate this as you can see it gives us 87 uh, percent here which is uh, also pretty good right 87 okay and this is again uh, the, using the classification report the ASCII learn module and as you can see if you focus on the accuracy value it is a 87 percent okay and these two models uh, used by uh, i mean i took these two models from spark machine learning library and i trained my own embeddings for this mod and uh, what if I use the pre-trained embeddings, which were, which are bird sentence embeddings and global word embeddings? Let's see. Uh, at this point, the, again, we we take the text and convert it to the documents, and uh, as you can recognize, this input column it takes documents. It takes document and as a result, it outputs the sentence embedding. So uh, I don't need any uh, token lemma or etc. At this point, I need to draw your attention to Bert Lapse sentence embeddings model here. And Bert embeddings is a multi language model, so it can be used with any language, including Turkish. Okay, I take the document and feed into the embeddings, bird sentence embeddings. And I am I'm using here the, the deep learning model of the Spork NLP for, uh, for the training, for the training our model. It, it takes the sentence embeddings and as a result, it gives the label, okay? This is our uh, the staging cell, okay? And I train it, I fit my, pipeline to uh, with the training set and after that uh, as usual uh, the classification report here uh, it gives us uh, 88 uh, 88 which is pretty good i i, I didn't uh, train any embeddings here i just take and download the bird embeddings and use it in my task very cool right okay and this is the second uh, pre-trained embeddings, which is Glove, uh, and it, 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 it's pre-trained with uh, 840 billion tokens, which is very huge. It, it, uh, as far as I remember, it, the size of these embeddings, 2.3 gigabytes, okay? And it, it is a little, a little bit different from uh, the birth embeddings as you can see we take text take text and convert it to sentence and send from the sentence to token and token to clean clean token which is the we removed our stop uh, stop words uh, for turkish 
and lemmatizing for Turkish and glow emitting takes a sentence and lemma and produce word emitting. So in classification models, I have to use sentence embeddings for the best results. By the way, the Globus embeddings is trained with multi languages, so we can use these embeddings in Turkish texts as well. So uh, here we have another model here, uh, I mean another annotator here in Spork NLP, which takes sentences and the word embeddings and uh, as a result it outputs sentence embeddings using average strategy okay then we have a sentence embeddings again and we can feed these sentence embeddings into the classif uh, classifier deep learning classifier of the spork nlp here we take uh, sentence embeddings as a result it it gives us the classes which means the labels the the categories okay so let's see the results and this is our uh, stages as well and we train uh, our model in the cell and this is our the last models uh, classification report which is uh, if you focus on the accuracy value it is uh, 87 uh, correction 78 percent which is also pretty good right okay in this video, we have covered uh, the how to classify a text other than English uh, using four different models and embeddings combination. Okay, thank you for watching me. See you at the next video. Bye bye.